Hey guys, this is Mike with 5 Minute Guide. This video is continuing our iPhone series. Uh, this time we're going to look at the Do Not Disturb mode. Why would you want to use Do Not Disturb? Well, if you're asking that question, you probably don't own a cell phone. If you don't own a cell phone and are teetering on the fence about whether or not you want to get one, I'd recommend going with the iPhone simply because of the Do Not Disturb feature. Um, it's a lot better than just throwing your phone on silent where your phone will vibrate and vibrate and vibrate when somebody calls you. Do Not Disturb completely ignores calls. This is great for getting a lot of work done. Uh, I, I use this all the time if I have a lot of projects I need to complete. It's a great tool. Uh, so let me show you how it works. You'll tap on settings, and then you'll see right in the main settings menu, you have a do not disturb toggle. So you can just go ahead and throw that on. You'll see up in the top here, this moon shows up. The moon hopefully reminds you that you have this setting on and uh, will remind you to turn it off when, you're, when you don't need it on anymore. So to set up how this actually functions there are there are options here uh, so you go into your notifications and then you'll see do not disturb right at the top of your notifications menu and you have several options you can schedule your do not disturb uh, you know set it up to go from whatever time to whatever time so a lot of people might use that for overnights um, I personally only own a cell phone so if somebody needs to get in touch with me in an emergency in the middle of the night this is how it's gonna happen so uh, I don't schedule that for overnight but you can allow calls from certain people. You can allow your favorites, everyone, uh, any group that you have set up. So if you want to create a special group just for allowed calls, you know, maybe your spouse, your mom, your dad, your kid, whatever, uh, you can do that. And it'll allow calls from that specific group only. And then the most interesting feature is this repeated calls option. Um, I'm assuming that the idea behind it was in an emergency, somebody would call you multiple times because they really want to get in touch with you because something bad has happened. Uh, so when this feature is turned on, anytime somebody calls you twice within a three-minute period, the call will go through. So that's great in case there is an emergency, somebody can get in touch with you. The downside is if somebody knows you're using an iPhone and uh, knows that you like to use the Do Not Disturb mode, they know that if they call you twice real fast, the call will go through. Now, if it's important, that's okay, but for the most part, when you're really working on something or if you're really trying not to get calls, you don't need to answer that call. So uh, I personally tend to leave that off when I'm using Do Not Disturb. So uh, if you've enjoyed this, if you found it useful, please share it on Twitter, Facebook, uh, it really helps us out, and uh, if you've got any requests for future videos, go ahead and shoot us a comment, or uh, we'd love to answer any questions you have about this. Um, that pretty much does it for us, so have a good one.